Hey everybody. Okay, so I am here in um, Buffalo, New York. I enjoyed my time speaking. But my goodness, it's a lot of delusional people when it comes to what's, be, what's in these books. Um, last night we talked about the book, Let's Talk About It. Okay, y'all, really, like, let's talk about it. This is not appropriate in a book showing kids how to masturbate. What are we talking about here? It talks about use lots of lube. You can see this. I was so upset last night reading this. I'm going to read it to you right now on Nasty Peace Theater because it's nasty. Listen to this. When you're ready to play with your body, there are a few things to try. But first thing is to learn is a happy... Oh my gosh. Ooh. Use lots of you lube. It makes your sensitive zones slippery, which not only makes contact feel better, but also reduces your chance of chafing or tearing in your most delicate bits. Train, oh gosh. Circle your fingers around and over your clit and give it a few pats. So now we showing kids, middle school and high school, on how to play themselves. It gets even worse. Here's the next book. Here's the next page. That's nasty. Mm -mm. And don't forget, everyone's got a butt. Also, the train has left the station, so to speak. So you've had a chance to wash up or douche back there. You can have an ass load of fun with a helping heaping load of lube. Apply broad pressure to the outside of the entrance. Listen to this. Circle your butt. I can't even read this line. It'll kick me out of the airport. Circle your butthole with your finger, pausing any time you feel a spot that feels extra good. Dip just the tip of your finger inside. Let your anus pull it in when it's ready instead of forcing it. This is filth. This is pornography. It is sexually explicit content that our kids have access to. And I'm just going to be real with you. You can't go to a rated R movie unless you're 18 and up. You can't listen to, you can't buy certain CDs, you know, because it says explicit content. Where are the warning labels on these books? It's disgusting. Sorry, I keep on moving around, y'all. But this is absolutely disgusting. There ain't no excuse for this. I mean, look, it tells you. We're going to have a read-along at the airport. It tells you. Things to try. Stroke. Okay, that's not me. Things to try. Stroke. Stroke the shaft of your penis with different pressures and speeds. Try mixing up your grip or switching hands. Whack it against your palm or give it some gentle bending pressure. Flop. Tug or squeeze your balls. If you have foreskin, play with it. Slip a wet finger between it. Oh, gosh. Switch things up and avoid constant masturbation with a tight hand. It makes it harder for a climax in the future. Try a sex toy. Listen, this is nasty. You can't even be under 18 to go into a sex store. You gotta be older than 18 to go into a sex store. So why are you telling kids to go buy sex toys? Cause you're nasty. It's grooming. That's what it is. And I don't care what anybody say. I will take it to the steps of the White House that is grooming the kids. I mean, I had a librarian argue with me about kids having the right to know this information. Well, that's the parent's choice. It's up to the parents to decide when this information gets to their kids. You know, why is it, why can't you just go to the public school library and just pick it up? Your tax dollars are paying for porn. I don't even like saying that word, you know, but we're normalizing sexually explicit content to our kids and we're happy with that um, and there's so many books like this it's just it doesn't stop I mean what, what what are we talking about here this is worse than Hustler this is worse than oh, y'all I, I just can't today I pray that we get better and I pray that a lot of parents wake up to what's happening in our schools it just goes on and on and on.
I don't even know what to say, y'all. I can't even unsee some of these images. And it's telling you about climaxing. Why can't you teach our kids reading, writing, arithmetic, social skills, life skills? You know, you got kids don't even know how to use a washer or dryer, but they no sure know how to have sex. It's inappropriate. You know, it should be the choice of the parents on when they can talk about these things with their kids. It's not the school's choice, you know, and it's unfortunate that we've dropped the ball as parents. You know, it, this this is evil. I agree, Pat. This is evil. You know, I'm I'm doing I'm doing my PowerPoint last night, and there's a handful of people that agree that this is appropriate for kids, and they're arguing that all kids have the right to this information, and it should be in libraries, public public school libraries. You know, and they don't they don't they don't they don't feel that it is pornography, but it is. And it's not just happening in Florida where my Florida folks are, are at. It's all the way up here in Buffalo, New York. It's everywhere. You know, why are we holding our school boards accountable for what they're teaching our kids? And my biggest issue is that if you have a child on the autism spectrum like myself, kids learn through social stories. They learn by seeing. If they read this information, they're going to want to try it. Matter of fact, it's not even kids that are autistic. It's all kids. When you learn something new, you're gonna to wanna to try it. So it just, it really breaks my heart. And I really hope that more people pay attention. Even if you're part of Moms for Liberty, tell your other friends and family, y'all. All right, so that's my flight. I love y'all very much. I've lost my voice with the change back and forth for the weather. And I just wanna tell you all, Keep on fighting. Be a joyful warrior. Speak up. Because if you don't speak up, that means you agree. And I don't. Bye, y'all. I love y'all. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Tamara. Bye.